Drinking overnight. Huh? Who are you listening to? Henry the Blasian. Brand new. Pretty chilly. I've been trying to What's up guys, Henry the Blasian here and welcome back to another video man So today we ended up getting some new throwback moments content and among that content is this brand new Galaxy Opal Throwback moments Pete Maravich really throwing it back and shortening the life out of those shorts like my goodness Those look like my boxers, bro But uh, yeah today we got a bunch of new throwback content including a Carlos Boozer and a Joakim Noah Galaxy Opal So not too crazy as far as content. I'd say this Pete Maravich is probably the most hype one you could get today and i'm looking forward to seeing what this card can do especially because the pink diamond was such a walking bucket that i'm really hoping they gave this galaxy opal the love in because otherwise there's so many good point guards in the game this year that you really got to be careful with who you buy now you also know we're on the road to 200,000 subscribers so if you guys haven't subbed already make sure to go ahead and do so and let's also aim for 2,000 likes on this video that'd be greatly appreciated but yeah guys let's get into seeing what these new upgraded stats are looking like take them into a game and see if you He's worth the brand new price tag man so flipping him over he's got a 99 offensive and defensive overall standing at 65 which is a good height for a point guard like three months ago now the average point guard is like 6768 it's really crazy the size of point guards this year but uh diving into the stats here 98 driving layup 88 post fadeaway 97 mid-range and 98 three-pointer he always had a three-pointer though so that's nothing new uh 91 free throw not a fan of how his driving dunk is still a 65 i feel like it's crazy how point guards never get the loving on a driving dunk but big men always get the loving when it comes to getting a new three-pointer so i really hope 2k thinks about that in the future but a 98 ball handling and solid passing the defense looks good 92 steel 95 perimeter decent rebounding 97 speed down the line i like a lot 94 vertical 84 strength is not bad 96 lateral quickness and the mental game ladies and gentlemen it's on point now when we dive into the badges he definitely caught an upgrade there he's got 46 hall of fame badges now with seven gold and he's got all the essential badges just like the pink diamond did so he's got the catch and shoot badge he's gonna have the hall of fame quick draw and range extender hall of fame dimers there as well he's got the pickpocket hall of fame clamps interceptor now all these badges look nice fancy footwork whatever you want to call it downhill quick first step but as i work my way down guys you will notice that there's a missing badge not on the hall of fame but also on the gold you will notice that the pete maravich does not have the intimidator badge not even on bronze not silver not gold not hall of fame and the intimidator badge is a very important defensive badge so take that into consideration when picking this card up it'll be interesting to see how he plays without it if the shot contest is really bad i'll make sure to let you guys know but uh now that we've seen the stats we've seen the badges it's time to see what this guy can do on the court so without further ado boys and girls let's hop into a game and let's see what pistol pete maravich is all about Let's get into it. All right, and our matchup today is looking like Giannis at the point, Cam Reddish, DeRozan, Aldridge, and Bol Bol. Doesn't look like a crazy team, but that pink diamond and that diamond, they're definitely some gems. Let's dance. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HTV gameplay. He's missing his first shot. Oh, he's already trying to steal the ball, but Pistol Pete recovers. Nice behind the back. Got him with the behind the back again. Stop. Pop green bean to start the game. I still love that jumper, man. The question is, how is he going to guard a 6'11 Giannis as this guy's running a play to get him open at the top of the key? That's not going to be fun to guard, but it's all good. We got the pick and roll here. Let's see what Giannis is all about. Hit that screen. Got him once again, all the way to the rim. See, it would be nice there if he had a driving dunk. We get the tough layup there to go, but we need the dunks, man. Give me that good defense. You want to run five out all day? That's fine, but be ready for when I clamp you. Pistol Pete and swing that thing. Oh, Anthony Edwards. Why'd you have to go so far? Pulling for three. It's going down somehow. Hold that. Oh, I do not like this mismatch whatsoever. Pistol Pete does his best. That was 46% contested. I can't even be mad at that. But uh, at least this guy is somewhat playing an on-ball defense, which helps a little bit. Come hit that screen. Oh, I tried to finesse. Go to my boy. Boom. Oh, we're wide open. Got to take that. Terrible form. Don't know what that was, but I'll take the bucket. This guy's trying to sweat, so I got to be careful on defense. Good defense by Pistol Pete. So far, Giannis is not looking like a problem whatsoever. Alley-oop that. Hey. 
Look at Pistol Pete. Oh, see, that's the thing. When you're up against a 6'11 point guard, that is the weakness. Especially when you don't have the Intimidator badge. Not going to be doing anything crazy like that. Oh, finesse him once again. All the way around. Hop into it. Drawing a foul. I meant to pass that out to Joel Embiid. But I will take some free throws here. My phone is ringing there, so I am sorry. Free throw animation is looking good. Again, Pistol Pete. This card would be godly had he dropped a couple months ago before point guard Giannis and point guard Thon Maker and stuff like that. Good defense. Good defense. Look at that. We're switching on all of that. I don't know how he hits a very early, but guarding a 5-0 is getting annoying. You think people want to have fun with the game in June? I guess not, man. Uh, snatch back. And beats cutting through. And hop into it. Give me that. Beautiful dunk by Embiid. No way that goes down. There we go. Nice rebound. All right, let's push the pace here. Melo Edwards gets somewhere in a corner. Or Pete Maravich. Why are you cutting through of all people? Edwards, dimer me, mama. Bang. Look at this. This is something I can't stop. This is why you need a 6'10 point guard or you're just going to get dogged the whole time. That is a big con to Maravich, especially when you don't have Intimidator against these point guards. It's GG's. Right there, we get past them. Easy layup right there. Could have been a goaltend. I'll take my bucket, though. Here we go. Oh, run away. Stop. Cross him up. Inside to Wiseman. That's an easy assist right there. He doesn't know where he's going. Let's go, boys. He's stopping Maravich from scoring, though. I will say that. Pistol Pete just got injured mid-gameplay. And he was on the other side of the court. This is the only thing that would happen to me, to be honest. Of course this would happen to me mid-gameplay, man. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So my screen has been stuck like this for a while. Now this is supposed to be a Pete Maravich gameplay. So if he's already out in the second quarter, then there's no point in me finishing this game. I'm just going to go ahead and give this guy the dub. I'm going to fix his injury and then we're going to hop into one more game. All right, on to game number two. This time it is Luka Doncic, Vince Carter, Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, and Marcus Saul. We saw Pete Maravich be able to do decent against Giannis. Let's see what he can do against Luka. Let's dance. All right, guys, game number two. Here we go. Let's see what Pistol Pete can continue to do. Oh, I thought he was going to get finesse there. Swing it one more time. Kevin Garnett for three. Dimer me, mama. Good defense there by KG. Oh, my goodness, man. Contested shots are going down a ton. I will say they're going down on my end too, but man, is it rough to watch happen still. Stop, pop, green bean by Pistol Pete. Get that rebound, boys. There we go. All right, let's push the pace just a little bit. Pistol Pete, I'm seeing you. The thing is, you don't have a driving dunk getting the soft layup there in transition. Nice deal right there by KG. All right, come on. Pistol Pete in the corner. Give me a screen here really quick. Hit that screen. Thank you, running, stopping. Oh, that would have worked out. Pump fake. Back up to Pete. Easy three. Greens, baby. Greens. He's going to a fadeaway. Good defense there. Great contest there. All right, so the Intimidator wasn't too big of a deal. We got to get a rebound, though, please. Hello? Somebody get a rebound. Oh, my goodness. That is just tough. All right, let's get an assist here for who I think is going to end up being a better point guard than this Pete. This Anthony Edwards right here. An absolute beast with a base 98 jumper. Easy greens. He's trying to run a pick and roll. Be there for the pick and roll. Be there for the switch. Oh, God. Embiid. Good defense. There we go. I almost messed that up really badly. Pistol Pete. Pump fake, get somebody cutting through. Oh, that's not gonna work out like I wanted it to, but uh, pick and roll offense, that works too. Embiid, roll for me, cause I wanna throw some alley-oops, baby. Pete's hair though is wild, man. Makes me think of the Beatles a ton. Hit that screen. Oh, he went to the screen himself. Why would you do that to yourself? One thing I will say about Pete though, this card can shoot. You ain't got the sauce like that. Let's keep it going here. Right to KG. I know what you're doing in transition. You're snatching back, actually. I see Embiid cutting through. That's way easier for me. All right, guys, we're in the second quarter. Pete Maravich has been off to a good start. Where is Luka going? Oh, got to pass that. Dimer me, mama. Green bean. Man, Kevin Garnett has been playing so good for me. All right, boys, back to a six-point game. He keeps trying to get bump steals for me, but that's not going to work. It's going to ruin your defense, if anything. Look at that Pete jumper, though. I'm yet to not green it wide open, man. Get the rebound. Okay, that's a big rebound. Now, let's push the pace. Anthony Edwards to Embiid in transition, baby. Let's go. Pistol Pete here with the bench, a.k.a. Siakam, DeRozan, and Kawhi. All looking like some good Raptors. I'm wide open. What are you doing on defense? Knock that down, Pete. First white of the night. Let's go right to Pistol Pete, DeMar DeFrozen. Let's get some Raptors chemistry going here. Snatch back. Kawhi for the mid-range green bean. I'm going to try to bait that pass. Oh, Kawhi Leonard tried to get to it. Great defense there by Spicy P, though. Rotate on defense. I saw that. Kawhi Leonard. 
putting it down get that rebound boys man the raptor squad off the bench not gonna lie is actually hooping Kawhi leonard in transition you guys know i love that card man easy assists let's keep it going here man 31 seconds he's gonna be reaching a little bit too much oh siakam pump fake i thought that would get him get in the post though we got that fade away in the bag in the bag ladies and gentlemen seven seconds to make something amazing happen i see derozan snatch back right back to pete to derozan and guess what i'm going for the spin just kidding off the oh no way he pushed off him and greened a three derozan i'm sleep bro oh man this team has been absolutely lighting it up right there he tries to send a double team but come on like i said the raptors off the bench are too good Good defense there by Pete. All right, so he doesn't have Intimidator, but he's stealing the ball. Again, another pass there. Another assist for our point guard. After that shot with DeRozan, I feel like we completely demoralized this guy because he cannot do anything now. Oh, swing that. Dimer me mama. Green bean. This guy's been completely demoralized here in the second half. Oh, he doesn't know where he's going. Once again, Pistol Pete with the greens. There we go. Oh, he's flopping. Yeah, this guy's done. He's done. He's tapping out. We're up almost 30 points. We were up only 13 going into the second half, and now he's done for. I kind of feel bad for this guy because I want to show him mercy, but at the same time, Kawhi Leonard right now is on absolute fire. Maybe when that fire runs out, I'll give this guy the dub, but right now, I'm feeling spicy. Pistol Pete is definitely playing the point guard role really well, though. He's got 24 points, 11 assists. Make that 12 now. And he's still keeping it going, man. Kawhi's got 21. Look who's got takeover. Let's get him open. They're sending double teams, but they can't. Easy three. Green bean. Nice steal right there by Kawhi. We show no mercy out here. Another three. Green bean. It's safe to say that this guy's absolutely giving up now. Oh, we almost got the bump steal there too. That's a terrible shot. It's not going down, man. I want to get a couple more threes here with Pistol Pete because when he's in takeover, that's when Luca can't even stop him. Dimer me myself. I just realized I'm not getting a dime from anyone. That's why I said myself. Yeah, that made no sense. We're in the fourth quarter now, guys, and this guy's essentially given up. So all I'm going to do is fast forward to the end of the game. We'll take a look at Pete Maravich's stats and we'll talk a bit more about the card. All right. Yeah. So as you guys can see, I didn't really show this guy mercy for being very unsportsmanlike. We won this game 113 to 59. Pete Maravich was definitely doing his thing throughout the whole game let's go ahead let's check out the box score and let's see how our boy did all right so as you guys can see man pete maravich in the 20 minutes that he played he was an absolute sniper because he had 46 points 14 assists two steals no block he did have a couple turnovers though because luca was running into him a lot so there was a lot of bump steals going on there but 16 for 22 from the field and more importantly 12 for 14 from three when this man is open his jumper is just so so easy that you should have no problem greening it consistently whether you have the shot meter on or shot meter off and you guys see that i play with the shot meter on so you can tell it's a very easy jumper he had no dunks because again he's got that 65 driving dunk now although this pete maravich is a sniper guys i'm still gonna have to say that he's probably not gonna be worth it now if you're a pete maravich fan go ahead and pick him up it's the end of the year have fun with the cards but i'd recommend waiting a couple days because he's definitely gonna dip in price from this day you'll probably be watching this a different day then sure go ahead and pick him up but if he's going for over a hundred thousand mt i can tell you guys right now he is not worth it the best point guard to pick up at 6'5 with this height is gonna be the anthony edwards that was playing the shooting guard position both look like they're the exact same height anthony edwards actually has a better build and actually looks slightly taller in game and has that athleticism as well as the fastest jumper in the game pete maravich he's gonna be a fun card to use sure but when you're up against ben simmons Giannis, magic johnson lamello ball pete maravich just is not going to stand a chance especially when you don't have that hall of fame intimidator didn't seem like too big of a problem this game because i was closing out myself manually but otherwise you're not going to get as many contests as you would like on those tall players and for that reason i would just not recommend you pick this card up right now if you want to have them for fun again be my guest 2k 21's around the corner you might as well have fun with whatever cards you enjoy plus i like that shaggy hairdo that he's got going on man you guys will definitely see him again when it comes to an all-time jazz squad builder but until then i think i'm going to stick with my anthony edwards and my lamello ball and with that being said guys this is going to be the end of the video so if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you got to hit that subscribe button and join the blazing nation man i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care